Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel, Data Demand Decision. In this channel, I talk about the data science and machine learning kind of stuff. If you are down for that, please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of awesome videos I make for data science. So today's topic is all about the inheritance in Python. Uh, I've already shown you how to create the classes in Python, and if th there is any comparison is available in between Python and Julia for classes. If you haven't checked that out, you can just uh, click on the card above and just see the uh, different different scenarios for classes. So I hope uh, through this video you will be able to understand the inheritance property for a Python. How to do it in Python. So what is the inheritance is all about? So inheritance is meaning is nothing to inherit something from the previous class. So suppose over here there is a class called area. Okay, so this is the class. In this class, you can see that uh, there are two attributes for this class. This pin, there is a location. So there are two different attributes for this class. Okay, so first I declare this class and then I'll inherit those things. Like I'll try to inherit the pins or the location of this class to some other classes where I do not need to initiate those things like pin and location. That is what I'm trying to do over here. So if I just remove it and go here. Okay. So now if I go here. So if I just first run this cell, it is going to create this class called area and it has two attributes, pin and location. Okay. So now I'm creating another class which is called the house. So that means this house particular class should be belongs to this area, like uh it's a house class, so definitely there should be some pin and location for the whole area that belongs to this house also. So that is what the thought process behind it. So if I just use this area inside of this class, house class, then it will automatically inherit those pin and location from that class. So I do not have to explicitly define those uh, self.pin or self.location for this class. So for this, what we have to done? We have to done uh, like this. Like over here, you can see this pin and location. I have initiated over here. Like I have given pin and location, but I haven't used it as a self dot pin or self dot location because it is already there in this particular uh, class, like area class. So what I have to does do is just to declare these things, then pin and location as an attribute. And the another thing is that if you want to add some more attributes, some more uh, functionalities or that characteristics specific to the house class only, then you can also add over here like color and room that is specific to the house only. Color and room could not be the attributes of the area. So that is why I have added those two over here and I have declared those attributes over here using self.color and self dot rooms over here you can see that and also after doing that because you are inheriting from the area class so for that you have to declare area over here like area dot init then self penal location so what was the uh, attributes of your class like penal location was attribute so that is what you have to add it over here then uh, the remaining is same that uh, there is a method called door open that takes the color and cell whatever particular an input and print out if it is going to open the door or not based on that inputs. So this is the inheritance I am doing it for the class of house from the area class. Okay, so if I run this cell, you can see this. Uh, you can see this. I am defining this particular small house. Okay, so this is small house. There is a color penal location. So let me first show you how does it look like. Like, so if I want to do it, like if I okay, so suppose some big house. Okay, big house. I am going to do so. This belongs to this house class. If how I'm going to define it, so you can see this pin is coming, location is coming because I haven't def defined those pin and location inside of this class but still it is coming because it has been defined over here like in the area class okay. so you can see that uh, pin and location i can give pin uh, okay 
Okay. Yeah, pin location, any color rooms or anything that is coming, I have given it. It is coming over there. So that is what I have given in the below section. So small house is color is white, rooms is two, pin is this, and location is Kolkata. So if I define it and then if I try to run this open door, it is going to open in the door because it has uh, filled up this condition. Like if it's white and rooms is two, then it is going to open the door. Okay, so suppose you give the room equals to 3, so it is not going to open the door. Okay, not going to open the door. Okay, it's not a white, it's a wrong thing, it's a white, but I have written the pin statement like this, so that is why it is coming. So that is the one thing, and another one is that, uh, okay, so different things it is coming over here, like you can see that white equal to 3. Uh, like what is the pin location? What is the location? Those things are coming automatically over here. Okay, so now you can also define the classes in a little different way, like inherit the classes in a little different way. You can see that over here, I have used the area in as an init over here, but at the same time, you can also use another keyword that is called the super. So you can also define it using the super first parenthesis and then any and in that case you don't have to use the self over here i have used the self keyword but here you don't have to use the self keyword I remaining everything is same so that is the another approach through which you can inherit the classes so let me first again uh, define this uh, class okay then i'm going to inherit this class using this particular method so over here i'm giving it over here. then again i'm going to run the same thing it is going to give the same Output. Okay. Okay. So this is the thing I am okay, just going to. Okay. So this. Okay. So now I'm going to inherit the class the same way I have shown you, but at the same time I'm going to add some more functionality inside of this particular method. So you can see that in the earlier method. It just calling that particular method and using the earlier attributes like color and the rooms, it is going to execute that particular function or method. But over here, you can see that I have added another key over here on this particular method. So key means uh, I'm just giving it like this, like if the door has a key, then it is going to open the door. If the door do not have any kind of key, it is not going to open the door. So that is why I have given over here key also. Okay, so adding argument. So in this particular situation, what happened is that you don't have to explicitly mention the self dot key because you are giving the key inside of this particular method only. So we have, every time you try to run this particular method, you always need to give this particular key. That is why whenever you call this uh, refer to, to this particular key in any kind of function or any kind of situations, you do not have to use the self dot key. You can just use the key only. Okay. So okay, I just remove this one. I think uh, downtown is not required right now. Okay. I just remove this. Okay. So if I just run this cell, okay. You can see this it is going to happen so i am defining this particular house i think it is going to be seven triple zero one six and it is going to be kolkata okay so if i run this cell okay so house is downtown key is yes if key is yes then it's opening the door okay if key is no it is not going to open the door okay so that is the functionality you can also add inside of a particular inherited function, inherited class basically. Okay. So okay, 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 okay. It is not required right now, so I'm done deleting it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I hope you like this video, and I'll be able to give you some sort of information on the inheritance, how to do that, and all this. So I'll see you soon in the next video. Uh, with more interesting topics on that. Thank you for watching my video. Thanks.